Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Arsalan and today we are on day third of building the logic through integers with the help of Python. So we have a question as on day third, which is write a function to calculate the factorial of a non-negative integer. So what we have to do, we have to solve question on day third. Let's just write, this is a day third question, day three and we have to write a function to calculate the factorial of a non-negative integers so before i start solving this question let me tell it to you that in this playlist we have been solving question based on uh, based on integers and building a logic and problem solving skills with the help of mathematics and we are using python to do this so we are just building the logic and understanding in programming language with the help of python so we have a question we will be solving today and this question is based on mathematics and we have to do it accordingly so what we have to do we have to write a function to calculate the factorial of a non-negative integers we will be understanding what is factorial if you do not know i will just explain it to you what is factorial and just before starting to solve this question please do subscribe to the channel hit the like button press the bell icon button and bookmark the playlist so that you can get the updates from the channel uh, so what uh, we have to do we have to write a function so let's suppose your function as def factorial so let's just write a function as def, def factorial and we will be taking any uh, non-negative number so let's suppose we have a number as num and what we will be doing here is we will be applying the logic let's just pass this value for a value for a while and just uh, create uh, create a is equals to factorial and then we can just put any value uh, let's uh, initialize it by 10 and we will be just printing this value print a so right now it will be showing me no value as we have passed this value as it is showing me none which we said it hasn't any logic so what we can just do here is we can just apply the logic accordingly so what is factorial let's understand what is factorial so if you do not know what is factorial, let me just tell it to you that what is factorial. So let's suppose we have to take out a number of a factorial of a number. Let's suppose we want to take a factorial of 10. So what is the factorial? The factorial will be 1 into 2 into 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6 into 7 into 8 into 9 and and into 10 so this is the approach we have to apply that the factorial is the uh, multiplication of the previous number so let's suppose we have a number as 10 so it is the all of the multiplication till 9 it will be just uh, multiplied by 10 so it will be 1 into 2 it will be 2 2 3 is a 6 6 over the 24 24 into 5 uh, it will be something like uh, uh, 24 into 5 will be like uh, 120 and 120 into 6 into 7 into 8 into 10 so that it will be something like a value which we do not know but we can just do it with the help of program we can know it so uh, we can uh, just apply a logic so how we will be just applying the logic before i apply the logic let me tell it to you one condition that then for the factorial of zero is also one so factorial of factorial of of 0 is equals to 0 and factorial of 1 is also 1 so factorial of 1 is also 1 so factorial of 0 is also 1 and factorial of 1 is also 1 so what I can do here is I can put a condition first of all that whether the number is a positive or a negative so I can say that if if num is less than less than zero print or return return what please enter a, a non-negative integer non-negative integer which means that put uh, please enter a positive integer and let's suppose uh, that it is less than zero if it's that they are all negative number what if we have number is equals to one or two one or zero so if l if l if number is equals to zero or number is equals to zero zero 
or number is equals to 1 then print or return the value as return 1 all right else else we can just apply the logic so what we have to do we have to apply the logic starting uh, saying that we have to apply the logic that we have to multiply all the value till the value of n so for example we have a factorial if we take out the factorial of 10 so it will be 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into 6 into 7 into 8 into 8 into 9 and finally into 10 so we can create a variable here which will be holding the factorial so starting from 1 we already know that why we are starting from 1 if we take 0 we will be just getting uh, 0 into 1 it will be all 0 so we are, that's why we are not taking 0 here we are taking 1 so we are initial, initializing it by 1 because uh, the if the value is 0 then also it's 1 then if the value is 1 it's also 1 so we are initializing it by 0 so because factorial 0 factorial is no no value so we are starting it from 1 so what i'm gonna do here is we will be running a loop for n in range starting from 2 till num plus 1 and i have already discussed that i will be taking num plus 1 because num is exclusive means like if i have if i have 10 if i have if i will be having a value as 10 it will be 9 here so we have to add 1 here let me just tell show it to you that if i if i print print num here and run the code see i am getting 10 10 10 10 10 but if i just if i just put like this here if i just put it like this or if i just put num and here not num and show it to you that it will be showing what two three four five six seven eight nine none uh, and if i put a uh, num plus one it will be printing me from uh, two till ten let me show it to you let's see it's printing from two till ten it's showing me none because i have printed it twice here below so that's why it's showing me none here also i printed and here i also printed so i can just return this instead of printing it will be showing me no none value see it's giving me two why it's giving me two uh, because it's starting from then so it was it is iterating for one only one time only so uh what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna just put a, a put a logic here saying that factorial should be multiplied by uh, should be factorial should be multiplied by n so factorial should be multiplied by factorial into n and if i return return factorial uh, let's just see see i'm getting this value let's just uh, take value which is uh, less and which we know that it should be the answer so factorial of 5 is something like 120 let's see if it's 120 or not so see it's 120 here factorial of 2 is 2 so let's see if it's working for 2 and 3 or not uh, let's just take 2 and let's just uh, let's just take 3 as well so the for 2 it will be 2 for 3 it will be 6 so let's see it's 2 and 6 so it's running fine so let just me let me just explain it to you once more that what i have done here so uh, the logic here says that i starting from a loop from 2 and i've already told it to you that why we are starting from 2 because uh for till 1 uh, 0 and 1 uh we are taking the returning 1 as the answer and uh, for negative value we do not count and we are starting from 2 because from 2 only we just start the factorial and uh, then we have taken 2 here and then we are just putting an number plus 1 why we have taken number plus 1 because number is exclusive so we have to include that in our range function so we apply the logic with the help of plus 1 now we are just initializing the factorial with 1 and why we have done it i have already told it to you now uh, what we can do here is uh, what we did here is that uh, we have taken we have said that factorial should be factorial into n so if the factorial is 1 initially it will be first of all it will be uh, 1 let me just write it here so that you should know what we are doing actually so let's just say that first of all factorial is equals to what factorial is was 1 so it was 1 into 2 then it changed our state when then it in the second iteration before i return this value let's let's suppose we haven't returned this value yet so 
or even if we have written this value before i before the iteration completes it will not be returning any value so after after iteration it will be returning so uh, first of all it will be iterating and it will be uh, i will be uh, sorry n will be 2 all right then in second iteration fact fact will be equal to uh, 1 into 2 so it will be 2 and it will be multiplied by 3 because the nth value will be 3 now let's suppose uh, now let's see the factorial where here will be fact is equals to 6 is equal to 6 multiplied by the value of n so it will be 4 which will be equal to 24 now we have fact is equals to 24 into into what 24 into 5 which will be equal to 120 then factorial is equals to uh, 120 into 6 and this is how the things will go on until the loops end so the loop is ending let's suppose it's ending till 5 so it will be ending the loop exiting the loop here and then it will be returning the value of factorial all right so just let's try this and show it to you that it's returning 120 as the answer of the factorial we can also initialize it by 2 because we are putting the range as 2 so it will be starting notes we cannot start it by 2 because uh, initially it should be 1 here we cannot put 2 sorry uh, so uh, I hope you have understood this concept and understood the logic here uh, that why we have uh, taken factorial and then why uh, how we take how we have taken factorial and how we have put the range function and how we have applied the logic and how we have returned the value. Uh, we can also put it like this that if our, uh, instead of returning factorial we can just put a f string here and uh, make it more readable that the factorial factorial of of any number of any number is this so it, it will, this will be more readable for you that the factorial of 10 is this factorial of 5 is 120 factorial of 2 is 2 and factorial of 3 is 6 so this is how the factorial works and uh, uh, first of all i have under make you understand that what was factorial then i have understood you make you understood that uh, the factorial of 0 is 1 then i make you understood that factorial of 1 is equals to 1 then we have just move eventually and we have just uh, uh, move on the logic of factorial from the logic of 0 and 1 then we have moved on to 2 that how we will be dealing with dealing with the number which is not 0 either neither it is 0 nor it's uh, nor it's 1 or nor it's a negative value then we have moved on to the logic of just applying the factorial that how we will be developing the logic to just make it work so hope uh, you have understood the function here let's just put the comment below here so that you can just more visualize it so see that first of all the value of n is equals to 1 uh, sorry it was 2 and the factorial was 1 why, why we have taken 1 if we take 0 here it will be printing me new values let's say we have a value as 0 it will be uh, just showing all the value as 0 why because we are multiplying 0 0 if, if if you multiply 0 with any number it will be resulting it as a 0 so that's why we are starting with a 1 value because 1 is the point that it will be just multiplying it with all right so first of all it will be 1 into 2 then factorial will be 2 into 3 that will be 6 then 6 multiplied by 6 into 4 as it will be 24 then 24 into 5 and then into 25 this will be the value of 120 and 120 into 6 will be something like 720 let me show it to you that uh, if i just factorial 6 here if i just put the value as factorial 6 it should give me it should be giving me a 720 as our answer see it's giving me 720 so this is how the logic is working here guys uh, hope you have understood this question and hope you have liked this video too if you do so please do subscribe to the channel and please share it with your friends too thank you guys for watching this video and see you next time